In 2013, I have two people I love. My beautiful children, Lizzie, Ruby, Katie, Zach, and Tate. I wish for you to be happy, content, and loved. I didn't give all of you life, but I am in your lives, and I am so privileged to be there and to watch you grow in them. Lizzie, I want you to know how amazing I think you are. You are kind and loving and so generous. But I also want you to know you are just an amazing person who is so strong. You are an amazing mom. The things you have lived through already and come out the other end still smiling. Lizzie, you can do anything. You set your mind to. I just wished you saw for yourself just what an amazing lady you are. I only want the best for you. Ryan, my beautiful, headstrong son, you are so truly gifted in all the things you do. You are funny, so very funny. Hard-headed at times, but at the same time, when you love someone, you love them with your whole being. I'm so proud of the man you've turned out to be. I knew from the moment I laid eyes on you, you would be a force of nature, and I was right. You are my shining light. Katie, my daughter, my friend, the person who isn't afraid to battle anything if you think it's right, you are such a talented artist, and you are so loving, a great mom, and such a blessing in my family. When my son married you, it was one of the best days of my life. Zach, my baby boy, you're my love, you. You are such a loving person. I wish I had a, a magic wand to wave over you to make life easier for you. I watch you struggle and I watch your heart break and my heart breaks for you. But through all the problems, you're still kind and loving and such a joy to be around. My wish for you is that you find your heart and you run down it knowing you can and that you will conquer What's in your path? Tate. My newest addition to the Grayson family. I've watched you grow and learn and discover yourself the past few years. And it has been a blessing to be included in your life. I know, I hope you know how much you mean to me. You are so funny and so smart. And you make me proud so very often into the main man in my life, Byron. I have waited for you my whole life. You brought joy and sunshine to my life. I wait in awe as, I wait in awe as we live out our lives together. I look forward to spending every day of my life with you, to watch us grow old together, to bounce our great-grandchildren on our knees, and to be a force of nature with you. You are kind, loving, Sometimes seven, but I wouldn't change a thing about you. All of you are my blessing, and I love you all so very much. At this time, the family would uh, like to have a time of sharing. So. If you have uh, some words of encouragement for the family or a fond memory or something like that that you would like to share, feel free to come up to the front or if you don't want to do that, you can stand and speak loudly where you're at but, uh, to share a memory of, or a thought for the family or a memory of Ryan, Stephanie, you're welcome to do so. I'm 
have seen this family go through so many changes. Stephanie would do anything for her family. I admired her very much. She and I knew each other's heart. She did everything she could to make our family's lives better. Ryan was becoming the man that I hoped he'd be, and I think that God wanted him to be. He had, he was Ryan, but more. He was, I'd never seen him work as diligently to help his family as he was. I'm very proud of both of what I saw at the changes that God made in their lives. And I just want you to know that I appreciate both of them very much. Stand up, everybody, that she's touched their lives and her back to their soul. I read the scene for her family. This is her legacy that she left behind. All of you. There's nothing, no words I can really have thought to express the impact she's had on so many people. Literally thousands, thousands or so of members. You know? She brought you guys from tragedy you know, and showed you how to live again. Didn't she? Brian, you know. <laughs> Boy, <laughs> he loved to live, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's absolutely amazing the turnout that, that we have here today. Um, she, she was awesome. <laughs> the one thing that I really regret is that, um, that her kids were, were grown, and so I did not get to be as close with her children as I was with Stephanie. Um, I didn't get to know Ryan as well as all you great people over here get to know him. Um, but he had a great dog, and I really love that dog. Um, and I regret that. I regret that. I hope that that, that can be mended um, because Stephanie may not be my, my cousin or my sister by blood, but she is in my heart. 
and my family is becoming larger and larger by the minute because of the lessons that Stephanie taught me in life. See, I'm really weird. I'm really, really weird. Yeah. <laughs> and, and I used to not, I told Zach the other day, like, you know, I used to be all thumbs and edges. And Stephanie Sampson taught me that my thumbs and my edges were beautiful and that everybody wanted to see them. And uh, she and I, we slowly was the best that I've got so far. He was always so funny, kind, and always so gentle. And me, Tom, and Andrew had to have a hard time. First of all, I'd like to start off with, uh, I couldn't agree anymore with what the lady said about Ryan earlier. He did like to live. Uh, I'd like to share a memory that I have. Uh, last year, a few of us from OKC Street Bikes, uh, and my buddy Barney right here's bike broke down, and uh, Ryan, we were all wanting to go ride, and uh, Ryan told him, you know, he had a bike, the extra bike that Ronnie could borrow just so we could all go ride together, and he he honestly did it out of just to see somebody be happy so that he could enjoy the brotherhood and ride together, something that we're very passionate about, and uh, we just went out that night, and we were acting up, you know, being ourselves, and uh, kind of pushing life a little past where we should have been, but... Uh, with God's grace, we made it back that night. We were able to ride another day, but the whole time that we were out, uh, he just had a smile on his face, and we were we had a blast. We were out riding all night. Uh, I'm not sure if we went and got any food or anything like that, but the whole time that we were out, you know, we were all pushing each other, you know, to ride faster. We were riding willies, and uh, he was just very passionate about it, no matter what we did. And uh, it's truly a blessing to have been able to meet him. And it's, it's a real blessing to see how many people that's here that he's brought together with his family and, and all the friends that he's made, you know. And it's just, it's truly inspiring to see how many people are here and how many people he touched. And uh, <clears throat> I'd just like to say that you know, he was a real blessing, and we're very lucky to have been able to meet him. And anything that y'all need, that we will be here for you, and we will pray for you, and we'll we'll do anything for his kids, and just we'll push as much as we can, just as much as y'all will, and uh, we'll support you in any way possible. And we would just like to pray that y'all can make it past this, and. You know, I hope that he continues to watch over his kids and everybody in here. I hope you all have a blessed year. And just please just do what you can to stay together. Everybody just pray. I just wanted to thank everyone, especially the Oklahoma City Sport Bike Group and all of the groups that he was involved in when we first moved to the city. He was afraid of not finding any friends, you know, um, not knowing anyone at all. He'd just go out on his bike just to meet people, and every time he'd go up to Corico, he just, he met so many people there, and just all these people here made me feel so, so happy that he had all of these friends.
and I just want to thank everyone for being in his life and making his time appear in everywhere. Just, just as happy as he loved, he loved motorcycles, and he loved being on those Facebook all the time, talking to you guys and selling bikes and doing this and doing that. And it was a very big part of his life. So thank you. Well, um, I'm Jeremy. I'm Zach's, I'm Zach's good friends. Uh, first, I want to say uh, Stephanie was an inspiration. And there's not a person I've met that's so accepting of somebody. Um, you know, when I met Zach, like, when we were 13, you know, Stephanie accepted me as her kid. When I come over and hang out, she considered all Zach friends her kids. It didn't matter who. Who you were, didn't matter what color you were, didn't matter what you looked like. You were her kid. When you walked into that house, you were her kid. She would make you food, she'd make you do, she'd do anything for you. And if you tried to not take it, she'd force it down your throat. <laughs> That's who she was. She cared. And you know, Zach, you know, the the best advice that I can give you is that she lives in you, man. Every day. Because the person that I see in you is the person I saw in Stephanie every day. The person I see in your sister is the person I see in Stephanie. What she's taught you, what she's given you, you will take that every single day. And it will guide you, and it will lead you to places that you never thought before. Because that's who she was. She loved you kids dearly. She loved Byron. And I just... I want to tell you guys that I'm here for you, and if there's anything I know about her, she's accepting, and she would want you to walk out, every single one of us, and do the exact same thing. Be kind to one another, and love each other, and accept each other. That's who Stephanie was, and that's what she wants. I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the first time I met Stephanie. <laughs> um, I had just moved here from two hours away. Uh, moved on a whim, moved a month ahead of my husband, moved into an apartment with nothing in it except a cell phone charger and an air mattress. And the first time I went to Steph's house, we had messaged several times before, and she told me there are two rules to my house. Number one is you don't piss off the cats. Number two is you don't walk in my house unless you bring me coffee. So I had that direction. Um, and somehow, I managed to get lost, which is not an unusual thing if anybody knows me. But this time, it actually wasn't my fault. The first time I met Stephanie, she gave me the wrong address to her own house. <laughs> and when she finally calls to figure out where I am, I go over and I sit down to have dinner with her. And she finds out that I'm living in an apartment by myself with a cell phone charger and an air mattress. And before I can figure out what she's doing, she has managed to find me a bed and pots and pans for my kitchen and plates. And I explained, I'm, you know, my husband's coming up in a month and all of my stuff is coming up, but it didn't matter. I needed something and she had a way to give it to me, so she did. <laughs> and that was one of the amazing things about her is anything I needed, if it was a friendly ear, if it was coffee on her way from wherever, if it was some stern advice, because sometimes I don't always make the best decisions. She was there to give it to me, and she gave me her family, and she gave me a community of people that I call friends and family now, when I moved up here knowing no one, with nothing. And through several conversations and questions and fears, her family managed to give me my family. And I will never, ever be able to repay you guys for everything she gave me and everything she gave everyone here. Um. That's pretty much everything. She would be so astonished at everybody here. I mean, I think she knows that she knew everybody. 
uh, that she knew that she knew everybody here and that they would all be here for her today. Um, I just ask that going forward, she loved her family and she would want them supported. If you guys could do me that favor going forward, they live locally, they live here, and we can do it. Check on them. Friend them on Facebook. And going forward, check on those grandbabies. Please. <coughs> and her son and her dog. That's what she would want. She loved the Lord. And all of this, she worked very hard for. Very hard for. There were, there were days that she probably never thought that she would get to this.